Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on August 27, 2023, I'll be using the Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Bolin and artwork by Nix Rowan. There's the front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks. And now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light, timeless, all signs, collective energy message. What do we need to know today? What is the most important message? And there it goes. Wow, wow, what a beautiful card indeed. Look at that card. Right off the bat, if you're resonating with this image at all, please know that uh, there could be a message here for you specifically, or right? Because signs and synchronicities in our life are leading us towards the answers to the questions that we've been asking. There's that bowl there, all right? So right away, if you are a Taurus, or right, an earth sign, a Taurus, as the bowl is, is the Taurus, there could be a specific message here for you or anyone that you may know or write that has that sign, or it may not even be related to astrological or zodiac signs, all right? This might just have to do with bulls and cows, okay? So please be aware of that as well. Maybe you have cows in your life. Maybe you are, you know, a cow farmer or a bull rider or, you know, whatever it is, okay? But just be aware. So bottom line, folks, is that I'm trying to let you know that you need to be completely aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to those signs. Pay attention to those synchronicities. Anything that repeats within your life, all right? If the bull or the cow has special meaning to you, okay? Take note, all right? In some religions, cows are sacred, all right? So also, maybe you come from the school of thought that cows are very important beings all beings really are okay but specifically the cow or the bull all right so there could be a message for you here today and i'm just giving these examples all right of where you can use imagery and things that are repeating within your life as a sign okay so pay attention the colors as well that beautiful greenish tone there all right and a lot of my my environment behind me and behind this golf cart here is green okay if green is a reoccurring color for you if green is your favorite color okay please know there could be additional messages for you here too so again just examples of those signs and synchronicities anything colors hold energy okay colors have meanings do your homework do your due diligence do your research and go out what does you know the bull what spiritual meaning does the bull have? What spiritual meaning does the color green have? Okay, as examples, all right? Putting the power back in your hands, guys, okay? Everyone, to go out, and if something resonates with you, if something sparks your interest and awareness, do the homework, all right? Okay, we're gonna jump into the booklet. And again, prosperity lies ahead. All right, that's the message of this card. And we're going to jump into the booklet. We're going to jump into the words. These are not my words, all right? And again, my return watchers know this about me because I mention it time and time again, that I read the words. Not only do we focus on the imagery and the cards themselves, but also the words here on this channel because this is the hard work that these deck creators have done, okay? And I want to honor that and give credit where it is due, all right? So we're going to jump into it. New moon and Taurus, okay? So again, that supports the Taurian energy as well. So let's see here where this, okay. New moon in Taurus, and here it is. <clears throat> I'll hold it up for you to focus on as I read the message here, okay? This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself, okay? 
This comes down to the law of attraction, all right? And again, if me mentioning the law of attraction really sparks an interest in you, lights a fire within, go out and do your homework, do some research about what the law of attraction is and what it means, all right? Value yourself and others will value you too, okay? You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan, okay? And for those of you who are in finances, if finances is your career choice, if finances really, you know, floats your boat, all right? You love talking about money and, and financial plans. Well, this could be just for you, okay? This message could be speaking towards you, okay? This could be a message of helping others with their financial plans, all right? Of being of aid, of using your guidance and your wisdom to help others with their finances. If you're being called to do that, step into your power and do it, okay? We all have strengths, we all have different reasons and, and different paths and different missions here on the planet, okay? So if finances is your thing, you might be receiving a message here today. Pay attention. This card could also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. Interesting, okay? If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon is in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet, okay? Keep on going, in other words. Even if it gets a little tough, you know, sometimes our greatest breakthroughs are when we've moved through the hardest moments and we want to quit, but we keep going, okay? So you're being asked to keep on going here. Attune to the moon. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. And isn't that the truth, okay? You know, when people think of health and wellness, sometimes they only focus on one or the other. But really, it's a well-rounded picture, isn't it? Your body, your physical body needs to be in health, and so does your mental health, your emotional health and that. So consider that today, all right? And even a physical body massage can actually relax the mind as well. So you're being asked today, to consider getting that massage you've been putting off, you know, and if you can't do it today, then make the appointment today, take action, all right? Additional meanings for this card. You will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Isn't that, well, I resonate with this because right now I'm in, you know, the housing market, okay? I'm trying to sell my home and purchase another one in, an, in a whole another city, okay? And, um, I don't know about you, but it is a tough and stressful process, all right? So I'm taking this card as a sign to keep on moving through it. Keep on, you know, one foot in front of the other and continue to go through the motions and, and continue to do what's in my control, all right? And that eventually here, I'm being led in the right direction, okay? Getting clear on what you most value, what you value most will help you find peace, all right? What is it that you value most? You need to ask yourself that, all right? What are your values, okay? And are you surrounding yourself with people that also have similar values, that support you in your values, okay? That's so important to do, all right? Take time out to pamper yourself, the massage, okay? Whatever it means for you, all right? Whether that's a massage or, or making the appointment for the massage or getting your nails done or you know, taking a nice long bath or bathing or, you know, exercising. Maybe that's something that just really helps you, okay? And so many, and it really does, you know, moving your our bodies is so important, okay? It's really the missing piece in a lot of people's lives and they wonder why they have so much anxiety and so much stress. Well, incorporate some physical activity and you're gonna improve, all right? But again, do something nice for yourself today, whatever that is. It's, you know, it's going to be different for everyone, but you know what works best for you and what you've been putting off, all right? So prioritize something for yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Interesting, okay? 
is this especially speaks to the financial people here, okay? If finances is your thing, your specialty, you know, maybe maybe you have a small child and um, or you know a young a young adult or something in your life, and you're really trying to guide them financially. And uh, you've stepped up to help them create the savings account and encourage them to put little amounts into that savings account. And this can be for anybody. It doesn't have to be for a child. It can be for adults as well. But you're being encouraged to save that money, okay? To do that. Just put pennies in a jar even or, or coins in a jar, all right? And, and start there if you're struggling. Just to begin the habit of saving because saving is so important, Okay. And it, it, it's a value, it creates values in itself, okay? And, and it teaches you how to really prioritize, you know, what do you need to save for or, or what do you really need on a daily basis? And maybe you can consider saving that money instead of purchasing unnecessary things, all right? So start that savings account or start that, you know, money collecting jar in that and, um, start somewhere at least okay the teaching we often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view okay Taurus knows this and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts that you want it's okay to to want things, all right? That doesn't make you a bad person because you want things, all right? But you need to work for it, all right? Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have, and that is such a very important point, okay? You know, you, you let's remember the gratitude. Let's remember the wonderful things that we already do have in our life and focus on those first because that is really that part of the law of attraction, isn't it? And when I mentioned earlier in the video, if you know, me saying law of attraction really kind of sparks an interest in you, I would really suggest you go out and read some additional material about the law of attraction. But, you know, bottom line is, you know, that you attract what you think about, you attract who you are, okay? So it's important to put positive, high vibratory states back into the universe and not be in a negative mood state all the time, okay? And certainly, it is completely human to feel all the ups and downs of emotion and that is okay don't beat yourself up because you're having a bad day all right but the quicker that you return to that positive high vibratory state the quicker the life of your dreams comes towards you you attract it all right you don't chase it okay and the same with money too you know and and, and realizing as well that you know the things that you do have people are wishing for so take a moment to be grateful and thankful for what you do have, all right? It's only going to attract more into your life when you come from that, you know, mindset of being thankful and grateful, okay? So I, I really want to encourage those that are interested in, in researching the law of attraction to do so, all right? And that spiritual people do have money, and money is not evil, okay? There is a, you know... A big piece of that kind of messaging from society that money is bad or money is evil or only people that are you know greedy or, or you are greedy if you want things or have money or you know somehow it's bad well it is absolutely not you can be a very spiritual person and be very rich as far as financial abundance okay and that is completely okay it is okay to want things as long as you work for them and you're in the correct mindset and you, you treat people with respect and kindness on your way up and don't lose the humility, okay? And don't lose being grateful and thankful, all right? And, and stay humble, okay? Very important message here today. I thank you so much for your time, everyone. I thank you to my subscribers, each and every single one of you. I see you. I thank you for coming back to me and supporting me the way that you do. And anybody new here, welcome. All right. This is about what you're going to get on the channel. All right. Me just being the messenger and things coming through and delivering the message and, and hoping that those that need to receive it do. Okay. So again, tomorrow is over. Yesterday is not promised. 
So if you want to take action, the time is right now. All right. I thank you again. Be the best human you can be by putting your best foot forward in all situations and circumstances and treating others the way you'd like to be treated. All right. Join me tomorrow for yet another collective energy reading. Bye-bye.